everyone and welcome to the brand new episode of Dream Home Season 7 powered by Jones and Tiles co-presented by ACC Cements Prayag, HPL Wires and Asset Homes. So before moving on to the competition, let me welcome our wonderful panel of judges. First we have Miss Sudha from Swasti Architect. And now may I invite and welcome Jibu John from Jibu and Thomas Architects. So on today's episode, we have a very interesting home from Malaparambil, Calicut, which is named Chaman. So judges all set to see. So let's take a look.
Now we are sitting here in the picnic area that I had mentioned previously. Now picture this, Sunday afternoon, you're with your family, you've got like a, a picnic set up, or you can have tea. It's just overall so useful, in my opinion. We've got the shade from the tree, we've got uh, the benches, we've got stone below me, we've got the rocks. Overall, it's just, and so much greenery, it just feels so alive here. Now, sitting here on this bench, I get the feeling of just being outside now, being under a tree. It's just something that you always wanted to do in your time off. The theme over here is, is not just being outside, but it's so, the, so much the opposite of what you would see in a normal house. You have a normal house, picture this, you have a house and then the landscape right outside. But here it's just the opposite. You have the house and the landscape inside. This is actually a compound wall that you're seeing in, in the bricks that, uh, all around. In addition to that, we've got bird's nests, we've got a pergola to my right. Uh, it, directly you can walk right into the dining room and we have a, a small wash area to my left. Now a lot of people have birds as pets but over here we have nature allowing that to happen naturally. We have so many birds within the house and they just come and go as they please. Now this is the staircase. As you can see, it's completely wooden. We've got some uh, iron beams. In addition to that, we've got glass all around. We have these uh, black grills and a pergola above me. Now let's check out the first floor.
ഈ വീട് നിൽക്കുന്ന ഒരു നാല് സെൻറ്റ് പ്ലോട്ടിലാണ് ഇപ്പോൾ ഇത് ആദ്യം എടുത്തപ്പോൾ ഇതൊരു ലാറ്ററേറ്റ് റോക്കി ടെറൈൻ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ലാൻഡ് ആയിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ ഒരു നീളത്തിലുള്ള ഒരു പീസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ളൊരു വളരെ വീതി കുറഞ്ഞിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ലാൻഡ് ആയിരുന്നു അപ്പോൾ ഇത് നമ്മൾ ആദ്യം ഈ വീടിനെ പറ്റി ഞാൻ പ്ലാൻ ചെയ്തപ്പോൾ ആദ്യം മനസ്സിലുള്ളതെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഒന്ന് രണ്ട് മൂന്ന് ഒരു ക്രൈറ്റീരിയൽ ആയിരുന്നു ഈ വീട് പ്ലാൻ ചെയ്തത് അപ്പോൾ ഒന്നും മാക്സിമം സ്പേസ് യൂട്ടിലൈസ് ചെയ്യുക പിന്നെ ഇതിലൊരു മെയിൻ കമ്പോണൻ്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇതിലൊരു ഒരു ഗ്രീൻ സ്പേസ് ഒരു കോർട്ട് യാർഡ് അപ്പോൾ അതൊരു സാധാരണ കോർട്ട് യാർഡ് അല്ലാതെ ഒരു വളരെ നാച്ചുറൽ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഇപ്പോൾ മരങ്ങളും ചെടികളും ഒക്കെ ആയിട്ട് ഒരു ബ്രീത്തിങ് സ്പേസ് ആയിട്ട് ഇതിൽ മാറുന്ന രീതിയിൽ ഒരു കോർട്ട് യാർഡ് ആയിരുന്നു മനസ്സിലുണ്ടായിരുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ ഒരു സൈഡ് നമുക്ക് ഇതിൻ്റെ ഒരു ബൗണ്ടറി ചേർത്തിട്ടാണ് ഈ വീട് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് അത് നമുക്ക് ഒരു നെയ്ബറിൻ്റെ കൺസെൻറ്റ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നതാണ് ജനറലി ഈ വീടിൻ്റെ എല്ലാ മുറികളും ഈ ഒരു നടുമുറ്റത്തേക്ക് ഫേസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന രീതിയിലാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് എല്ലാത്തിനും ഒരു വെൻറ്റിലേഷൻ ഒക്കെ ഒരു ഫുൾ ടൈം ഒരു ക്രോസ് വെൻറ്റിലേഷൻ ഉണ്ടാവും ബോത്ത് ഓഫ് ദ ജഡ്ജസ് വുഡ് ബി ഹാവിങ് 100 മാർക്സ് ഈച്ച് വെയർ ഇൻ ദിസ് 100 മാർക്സ് ഇസ് അഗൈൻ സബ് ഡിവൈഡഡ് ഇൻടു 10 ഡിഫറന്റ് ആസ്പെക്ട്സ് വിച്ച് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ്സ് എക്സ്റ്റീരിയർസ് ഇന്റീരിയർസ് ഡെക്കോർ ആൻഡ് ലൈറ്റിംഗ് ലാൻഡ്സ്കേപ്പിംഗ് കിച്ചൺ ബാത്റൂം ഫ്ലോറിംഗ് വാർഡ്രോബ് പെയിന്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് വാല്യൂ ഫോർ മണി It was indeed a very 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 interesting house isn't it yes so starting with misuda the exteriors there's nothing much to say about the exterior because i didn't see much of it i saw only leaves green greenery and more greenery which is exciting by itself because uh, we do use while you build houses you see the vertical surfaces you see the walls the glass the windows are all to be seen quite well camouflaged and all the greenery that's there obviously the plot is very small mm. and uh, the building has been designed in such a way that it fits into the entire property so uh, so i think it's a very clever way to um, negate any kind of design uh, constraints that is uh, the elevation would probably be very very practical allowing natural light and ventilation to go inside with not, nothing like a treatment to be done especially since the greenery is meant to grow all over the house it's very uh, interesting to see a green kind of house in yeah. all terms all sense of the word i'm going for an 8.5 8.5 out of 10 what about you mr jibo yeah uh, sudha so has actually told most of the things <laughs> uh, but i i think actually what uh, what is achieved here is basically now when you look at a house there is a garden space then you have a formal porch then you have an entry so there are a lot of things defined when you uh, that is automatically comes into your mind when you are given the job to design a house but here uh, all those things are treated very differently so there is actually nothing like a prescribed spaces everything uh, comes naturally like you you are inside a, a garden or a tree a filled area most of the time so there is no clear demarcation all those is actually uh, quite difficult to achieve and i think they have uh, successfully done that i'll go for 7.5 and the interiors are also very treated very differently what do you think about it the conventional planning of the living room in the front the uh, dining room behind that all that has been uh, put away and uh, i i guess it's the uh, practical use of spaces and the uh, need to achieve a very um, green along with the earth a uh, very uh, natural ambience is what is uh, the rustic feel or the rustic ambience is what is defined here basically so uh, so you find that central living core where uh, from where the dining and drawing and all the other areas are uh, extending out of has been treated in a very natural way and if if rustic is the theme given i think he's achieved it to the fullest extent yeah. by the use of all the materials as well so the marks 8 out of 10 Eight out of ten, Mr. Jibo. Uh, I don't think there is any specific thing like interiors here <laughs> because it is mostly outdoor. Stadiums. I see. So it, it is, you know, as we've told earlier, the the nice blend is created, and then actually uh, the furnitures uh, for the living room or the bedroom, it is all inbuilt. So there is a cost efficiency or the efficiency for that uh, furniture is also brought into the interiors. Uh, the colors used and the materials used are all natural uh, the main purpose of the designer to achieve whatever he wants is clearly achieved i'll go for 7 7 out of 10 decor and lighting 
a special care had to be taken I suppose for this kind of a, uh, to create the lighting effects here basically because uh, by the use of natural material it tends to become very dark you don't have white you don't have a light color most of the natural materials are dark gray brown and uh, maybe even green as in quarter stone terracotta tile is dark red so extra efforts should have should be put in to get the natural light into the house and make it feel bright that has been done to quite an extent um, uh, there are certain light fixtures that really look smart uh, uh, modern as well as uh, practical uh, certain things like uh, the fixed furniture the uh, the kind of furniture that they've used actually adds up to the rustic nature of the whole uh, ambience created there and uh, I like the paneling for lights and switches that comes almost in every room is uh, just a vertical paneling so that the terracotta wall that you see all around is not disturbed by plastering mm -hmm. and other things I suppose so that that particular post would probably be the uh, hub for all the electrical points the light wire switches plugs the, so extra detailing has been done into that so I'll go for a 7.5 7.5, Mr. Jipu. They don't have to do much with the decker thing because whatever that is natural, they've tried to just put it there and it is working out well. Even in the kitchen, there is no prescribed uh, the conventional cabinets on overhead and gone for that white uh, boxy elements which matches with the laterite uh, drawing room with the uh, built-in furniture. Some cushions are put, so the essentials are added and uh, that creates the decker. The lighting. Uh, obviously is uh, nicely treated with the panel uh, i would go for 7.2 7.2 landscaping in the commercial sense has not been used there uh, you find uh, i i would have actually tried to tone down the landscaping a little bit in the sense that uh, any person who is slightly fear of uh, creepies Creepy, and crawlies yeah. might have a problem in this house. But other than that, if you are looking at the rustic nature of living, yes, it has come in very well. I would go for a 7.8 the way the landscape has been treated. 7.8 out of 10, Mr. Jibbo? I think a person who assigns a designer to design something like this uh, uh, will not be scared of any creepers <laughs> or anything. because. That will come naturally with it and I, I think they, they will like that. Maybe that, they uh, guess. That, that, I think they will like that natural ambience. Uh, I'll go for 8. 8 out of 10. Kitchen. Kitchen uh, has been worked out. I like the fact that the cupboards are contemporary, contrasting against the dark walls, white cabinets. Uh, the essential splashback has been provided. Overall, they have really uh, made the kitchen also have that same uh, rustic ambience. I'll go for a 7.5. 7.5, Mr. Chippo. The kitchen is treated differently. Uh, the laterite and the other elements uh, tends to make it a bit dark. Maybe a bit more light would have been, uh, natural light uh, would have been, because it's a very natural house, would have been appreciated. Uh, the treatment of the cupboards and cabinets are different. Uh, I'll go for 7. 7 out of 10. Bathroom. Bathroom is again uh, equally interesting. The planning itself is very different from conventional bathrooms. Uh, I like the fact that uh, the, the bathing area is tucked away behind. The one of the bathrooms that we saw is tucked away behind the closet room. So the closet, water closet is placed within a room so that the rest of the bathroom is open as a um, uh, the bathtub kind mm. of thing, the jacuzzi or the pond maybe because the well water is used in that. Yeah. Uh, it's very interesting overall. Seven. Seven out of ten, Mr. Chippo. Yeah, the, from the bedroom, uh, the path to the bathroom is quite interesting with the skylight and the pebble coat. So it, it feels like you're going out and then going to the uh, toilet area. I think the bathroom is uh, slightly cramped. I'll go for 6.5. 6.5 out of 10. Flooring. Flooring, they have kept, uh, uh, followed it to a T, like they say, the, th uh, the theme given to them, rustic. So, uh, entire floor is terracotta, cota stone, granites, exposed uh, laterite work. Uh, overall, it um, perfectly blends and matches with the ambience of the place. So, I'll go for a 7. 7.5. 7.5.
7 out of 10, Mr. Jibbo? Yeah, flooring mm -hmm. is also matches well with the uh, total ambience. Uh, they've gone for the cement colored tile. I don't know whether it's Kota stone or it's cement tiles. Uh, they've gone for terracotta. Uh, and uh, overall, I think, uh, you know, it, it matches with the whole uh, house. But, uh, yeah, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure whether the maintenance of all these things will be easier. But you need to go for these floors when you're treating a house like this. I'll go for 6.5. 6.5 out of 10. Wardrobe. The white wardrobes that we saw in one of the bedrooms is probably the only white thing that we saw there other than the kitchen cabinets which is quite a relief actually because otherwise everything would tend to become very dark in nature. Yeah. So simple sleek uh, wardrobes just I guess it's sliding because of lack of space also. So two large doors sliding across each other is the wardrobe, so it's neatly tucked also. Uh, I'll go for a 7. 7 out of 10, Mr. Jippo. Wardrobes are nicely done, suits with this place, uh, it's 6.5. 6.5 out of 10. Paintings. Painting, in spite of all this dark texture and the natural material, they've gone for a darker shade of grey and green. But I think it matches perfectly and that is the colour that they should be using. Any other colour I think would have taken a lot of the rustic nature away from it. So I'm going for an 8. 8 out of 10, Mr. Chip. Yeah, uh, the colours used in the paintings are good because uh, uh, they've gone for the grey colour. It matches well with the laterite, that uh, brickish colour of the laterite. And then uh, the green also matches well with the entire thing. I'll go for 7. 7 out of 10. value for money when you say money it, it doesn't mean that they've not spent because mm. quite a bit of money would have been spent on the corner glass windows the staircase uh, the operable uh, windows in the front elevation so money has been spent but I think a hundred percent they would have got back what they want if this was yeah. a theme that was given to them I'll go for a eight eight out of ten mr. Chipu 7.5 7.5 out of 10. The total marks given by Ms. Sudha is 76.3 and by Mr. Jibo is 70.7 .7, which makes a total of 147 out of 200 which is very impressive and very good. So with this we are winding up today's episode. We will be back tomorrow. Until then this is Archana Revi and the entire team of Dream Home Season 7 powered by Jones & Tiles co-presented by ACC Cements, Prayag, HPL Buyers and Asset Home. Signing off. Tata. -ta.